And here we go. What's going on, guys? It has been a long time since I recorded a video, but hey, it's ESO, Elder Scrolls Online to the layperson. It's Vag, obviously, sitting here on my Templar healer. I'm not going to get into it too much because we're in the middle of this dungeon. I wanted to show off some of my healing. Uh, if it does indeed go well, this we've wiped three times now on that first boss. Um, basically because the power attack uses is a one-shot on almost anybody, and people didn't understand to get out of the AoE. He basically turns you into a living bomb. I went with the Templar into the Restoring Light Tree for heals and also a Restoration Staff. And I'm going to show you what I do and try to try to go play by play. Uh, there's an AoE, there's a second AoE. And uh, kind of like my hammer shot, I'm going to sit here and attack the enemies. Um, because every final hit of my power attack here heals some of my allies. Now, there's a group wide heal. It's about a two second cast. It's expensive, but like I said, it heals everybody for a good amount. So it's basically your bread and butter. I have found in rotation uh, with a Templar so far. Um, I do like to throw these two down right away though, uh, just to give, make sure everybody has enough health. Uh, and then once I have a good bit of magic, you see it was almost, it was up to about 90% when I started casting this, uh, then I'll throw in that big group wide heal. Um, I did already spec into it to give it a quicker cast time because I do use it quite often, uh, so obviously I wanted that to have a, a quick cast time. Uh, I'm going to block these mud crabs. They're, not going to do too much damage, but they do do quite a bit. Uh, there was an instant heal. Uh, it's number three on my bar there. I forget what it's called. Healing Surge or something like that. Um, and that's going to heal everybody immediately. Um, I believe it's more expensive. Let me actually check. Uh, yeah, it's actually more expensive, but it's quicker. Obviously, that's why. We don't really need this, but let's throw another one in. Um, I believe the range on that is 28 meters, actually. No, that one's 10 meters. This one's 28. Uh, the cast one is less uh, distance, but it's uh, much more, it's much better. Um, obviously, it's much more efficient. Um, oh, I got the boss on me. That's not good. I'd yell aggro if I had a mic, but I don't, so I can't, and I'm out of magic. I see this? Oh, really? Oh, see? This is, uh, this is one of the reasons. We're not doing great. I mean, it Obviously, I'm not perfect as a healer, I understand that. Um, but you got to keep that boss off your healer. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, dude didn't understand before that it was a boss. Um, before that. Um, but hopefully now he does and we don't make that mistake again. Um, there's not a big indication. I mean, they've got health bars, but there's no really easy way to tell. Uh, right there you see the bottom of the screen, Blood Birther, it's got those arrows. It means it's an elite. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the two arrows mean. I've seen some with three. Um, I believe the end boss has three. Uh, so I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Uh, what I could have done there is a noob mistake because, like I said, I'm not 100% comfortable with my Templar, um, as I was with my Commando and such, uh, when you watch my Star Wars videos, is uh, I could have used my ultimate ability there. Um, I could have healed everybody all the way up, uh, but like I said, I'm just not comfortable with it enough. Oh god! As of yet. Um, and our, I believe our tank just stood in that, so... Oh, and I just grabbed him again, because I shot him. Come on, guys. You gotta, you gotta save me here. A good tank does not a healer make. Uh, there, I will use it, and I don't think it's going to be enough to save us, however. Nope, it's not going to be enough. I When the tank dies like that, you really can't do much. This is not one of those games where you can... Oh, there we go. Um, we got it. Very nice. Uh, not one of those games where a healer or a DPS can tank a boss. It's, they hit really hard. Um, you need those cooldowns, your armors, and whatnot. Uh, to get to the bosses. The loot isn't great in these dungeons, I've noticed. I mean, I get that for the boss. I get a soul gem, so that, and I use two of them during that fight, so... You know, it, it is what it is, but the loot definitely needs to be improved in um, in the dungeons. Good job, Preet. You just took on three adds. How'd that work out for you? 
I, I don't really think he should have died, though. That was a little ridiculous. What is going on here? Everybody's dropping like flies. What the heck? That was ridiculous. Those were like gods. I've never seen them wipe a group that fast. They were just, they're just normal enemies. How bad are these guys? No. Um, let's try this for the fifth time. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Uh, they, they hit really hard. The tanks really need to use their cooldowns and whatnot. Uh, the tanks also need to make sure the group is ready um, before they go pulling all kinds of crap. But, you know, I've been learning. If our tank, I mean, I've had worse tanks, but this guy is pretty squishy. Um, you see right there, I don't know if I mentioned it before, the last hit of my power attack with my healing staff uh, causes enemy, or er, causes allies to be healed, whichever, I believe it's whichever ally is closest to the enemy, um, but I haven't really 100% confirmed it yet, so not sure. Um, we've just killed the Goblin King. Um, I'm not really going to count that as a spoiler. You guys should have seen this in the uh, opening trailer. Uh, the, but I guess the, um, I don't know, the, the oh, right out of my head, the E3 uh, opener, uh, the preview, dungeon preview, whatever it was, uh, the 30 minute gameplay was in fact this dungeon. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and block because these mud crabs. I don't want them to gang up on me and end up killing me. Let's use the conduit. I don't need to get it in time. Um, it was this dungeon, so it shouldn't really be a spoiler, but I should know at least uh, what goes on in this dungeon right now. Uh, hang on. <sighs> Told you it's obligatory. You gotta do it every time. Um, so everybody should have seen this by now. Oh, forgot this was a boss. Um, it's all location. Look. See, I'm getting distracted. I can't really get the boss off the healer. Sorry, I'm, I am starting to get a little frustrated now. Really? Let's wait and see if anybody resurrects me, because I've used like five soul gems here. No one's going to? Is he going to? Anybody? No? no? I'll do it. Um, did he seriously just... He pulled it. I'm not even out of ghost form yet, and he pulled it. That's gonna hurt. No. Oh! Yeah. You gotta get out of that. That's a really bad area. What? They ran all the way. Oh god, are you kidding me? Oh, I was out of that. See it mm. This is really getting frustrating. I did not have this many problems last time. I was not getting one-shotted like this. Come on, get it off. Oh! Frick. Wrong button. So this has been a pretty crap video, but you know what? I'm going to upload it anyway, because people need to see that you need to pay attention here. I mean, that AoE, I was barely in it. It one-shotted me. 350... 350 yeah, 350 health. It's a little ridiculous. I mean, the bosses need changed a little bit. Um, because melee really gets screwed. Um, melee really gets screwed out of that. I mean, I'm not a melee, but I do have to kind of be close to use that heal, so that's why I was there. But, you know, it is what it is. I suppose we're going to use some Skyrim jumping here to get up these rocks. Oh, jeez, No! Die again? Are you kidding me? Let's just check my mail. I think this is what I bought. Yeah. Alright, let's regroup and not pull. 
before your healer gets up there, so that he has to rush his heals. Um, oh, boy. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's a lot about the... It's a mixture between the AoEs and the, um, and the other heals. I use this one quite a lot. Um, I always have my healing abilities on 4. You guys know that. Um, you'd think I would have healing springs on 3, because my culto missile in that was on 3, um, and it being an AoE and everything. Um, but I haven't done it yet. Um, slash loot, for anybody who wants to know. Um... See, I lose my train of thought so easily. Uh, because my Gold Missile is on three, I just haven't folded it yet. Um, I put it on one. It's kind of like my basic um, healing ability. I might put it on three. Uh, depends on what kind of heals I get for one and two. Um, one was always my hammer shot. I think that's why my Gold Missile and all was on three. Um, it being a selectable AoE. And what I mean is I can put it anywhere. Um, just by looking up and down, moving the camera, I can put it anywhere. Um, it's got a 28 meter range, so I can throw it the whole way out there on that bridge if I really need to. Um, so it's pretty nice. But I have it on one just because that's just what's been the easiest so far. Uh, we're going to stay back on this fight. We're going to throw him some AoEs and hit the boss, give him a little bit of healing on the side. And we're kind of going to stay back on this one because, as you saw, that AoE is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Um, the same thing. Annoying Silver Fox. I'm not even sure which one the tank is. There's no icons. Um, we'll have to look for an add-on for that. But uh, see, I mean, if everybody does, and I say as soon as I say that, somebody gets nailed. Um, but I mean, if everybody does their job, it's the AOEs are avoidable. It's just it's really frustrating when you get one-shotted by an AOE that you couldn't really tell was coming exactly. Let's, let's keep our distance here. Now we're going to go ahead and put our blood altar down. Um, not many people know it and I don't usually tell them. But you can channel on that if you get low. Um, your health drops, you can channel it and heal yourself up really, really well. Um, so this is going a lot better, as you can see. Um, it all just depends on the people. It depends on how well your group works together. So, see, we stayed out of the, for the most part, stayed out of the AOE there and uh, got it done. It all just depends on the group. Like I said, it's not great experience. You know, I've run it a couple times and I'm only here. Um, and I was here when I started. I run it three times and I've gotten to here. So it's not awful experience, but it, it does need to be more. So uh, somebody should put in a ticket because I'm too lazy too. <laughs> um, but that is the final boss. That was the loot. Uh, when I did the quest the first time, a quest when I did the dungeon the first time, a quest came with it, and I got this actually. Uh, that I'll be wearing full light armor at level 12. Um, I've done cloth, that's why I have this uh, cloth, clothier and woodworking, um, just for the restoration stabs. They're not great, I know my gear is not great. I mean, there's no bonuses yet, but I have a couple things that add stamina, um, just because it was heavy armor and I needed it. Um, but one or two, two or three things of mine do add some magicka, so that's a good thing. Uh, the only way out so far that I know of is the TP out. You can't uh, recall, I guess it's called. Um, or you run back through the entire dungeon, which is kind of lame because you don't even really make that um, in your in your. What am I trying to say in your? Jeez, really? The time you're in the dungeon, you don't even really make um, sixty-eight. You don't make it at all. So, ah, oh, I meant to stop that and see if leaving group would teleport me out. I don't think it will. I think you have to do this. But uh, yeah, that's me getting frustrated at the the dungeon. I uh, get one shotted by that land draw. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. Like I said, you really got to work together. You really got to know where your DPS is. You got to know um, where your tank is. Um, and it's it'd be nice. I'm gonna look for an add-on a little bit um, to see if there's a way I can have it. Uh, tell me who the tank is. I mean, the tank could be anybody. I mean, it could be 
not so much the Knight Blade, but the Dragon Knight or the Temp. I mean, I'm the Templar, so I guess it would have been the Dragon Knight X Civ, and he did say it. Um, but I'm just going to see if there's a thing to remind me in game during the fights um, who the tank is, so I can stay closer to him and whatnot. Uh, player nameplates would be would be great. I mean, I know it's not about targeting, but if I could have nameplates just for group. That would be nice, too. I'll fool with it and let you guys know. Uh, another video coming soon. I'm going to put a shout-out for the guild out there. Uh, we've made a new one here on ESO, and um, hopefully we get into doing some PvP and whatnot shortly uh, once everybody's on. So I will see you guys later. Hopefully this was a little informative. Um, it's all location, 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 just to give you an idea of how I heal that and uh, some things I was doing there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I plan on playing this healer. I do have a level 9 Dragon Knight that I started out as a tank and then just kind of, eh, uh, wanted to turn him into a two-handed uh, magic-wielding badass. So, But I haven't gotten out to you. I plan on playing this guy quite a bit. I really enjoyed healing in the Old Republic, um, and it's so far I'm really enjoying it now. Um, even though I was getting frustrated, I do enjoy it. It's a lot more involved um, and not as simple as targeting and healing and targeting and healing and targeting and healing. Uh, you really have to pay attention. So I think the healers in this game will breed a new... Uh, the way the gameplay is will breed a new, uh, should I say, race of uh, players, a new race of MMO players. Um, that they'll be more patient and they'll be a little more involved, not just sitting back pressing three buttons and be like, my DPS is huge. You know, it... Not a big deal. I've seen a lot of class combinations, and I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things, so hopefully the way the combat is, people won't rag on tanks and healers so much, um, seeing as there is an actual block mechanic, um, and you must do it. Uh, your shields are not going to save you from a power attack. They're going to help, but you still need to block that damage. So I'm rambling now. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here like I've tried to do three times, and I will catch you guys later. Finn.